Well, the first day was a little, you know, nerve-wracking. I got there. Esther was there. I think John was sitting there. Hi, Daddy. Hey, baby. John was serious. He was loving. Um, he gave me good advice. I remember the producers were asking me a question. I don't even remember what it was. And they wanted my opinion. My opinion? For what? <laughs> I'm a kid. So, uh, so I started giving him an opinion of, of something, John said. Um, when they ask you those questions, you, you really, uh, you know, you don't know. So, you know, say that you don't know, and you sit back and listen and learn. Thelma's the only daughter we got, baby. She's special. She's my little girl. Little girl? Have you had a good look at her lately? <laughs> yeah, and that's what scares the hell out of me. <laughs> John was amazing. This is going to be the baddest dress at the party. <laughs> it is pretty, honey. Oh, Mommy, you're the greatest. I love you. First time I met her, I came in. I was just very excited to meet her and everything, and I was just quiet. Um, she was very, very um, quiet, too. I remember I was on the set. We were doing the show. We were about in about six months. And um, I don't think they knew what to do with me. So I would come on, and I would say, hi, Mom, hi, Dad, shut up, JJ. Now, Ma. And then I would be in the bathroom. Run down to the shoemakers and uh, get Michael's shoes from the shop before he closes. I can't, Mom. I just finished washing my hair. And then that was it. You know, it was boring, actually. So I remember going home with Esther one night, and I said, Mom, I said, you know, I'm get it's a little boring for me. And I said, you know, I could do better than this. So she said, you can. I said, yeah, I can. So we went in that Friday to do um, our read. And of course, we read around the table, the script and everything. And at the end of the read, all the producers and the writers were there. And Esther said, may I, uh, may I have a conversation with you guys? So they said, sure. Well, you know, what, what? So she said, I want to talk about my daughter. Are you ashamed of her? They said, no, we're not ashamed of her. She said, oh, OK. Well, if that's not the case, I would like to see my daughter have a voice. My son JJ has a voice, my son Michael has a voice, and I would like to see my daughter have a voice. In the beginning, God created Adam. Yeah! <laughs> and when he started his mistakes, he improved on the model and called her Eve. Yeah! She gave me my voice, a teenage voice. She gave us a voice. From the way I was raised and from the way I was growing up, I put that right on Thelma. Donald's different. He's the kind of guy the girl dreams of. He's, he's... Dating the older man, he was Lou Gossett. I'm not ashamed of my age. Now, I'm, I'm 42. 42? God have mercy. <laughs> the African prince. Thelma, I love you. Well, then tell me you won't take another wife. And the wedding. I take this vow to share with you that which God shall let me share. Those are really marks for me. When I was back in those days, called the olden days, you know, <laughs> there weren't a lot of parts. There weren't. We had nobody really to look up to that was my age, you know, at that time. So I guess I was the first, you know. I was just happy to be there, and I got a TV show, and I could help my family, and, you know, we get out the projects. Come on, Dad. Don't worry, I'll make it. Yeah. You know something, I am sure you will. That's where my head was at. I had no idea what this show was gonna be like or what the impact of it really was.